Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. That, that thing becomes annoying around 7, 8 p.m. when everyone's absolutely wasted. I was going to say, it mm. must be annoying. It's lovely, it's no lovely around 2, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, beautiful. Everyone's nice, we're having a bit of fun. Yeah. Then it twists. Is it mainly the like boys that you find annoying? Because I feel like once boys get drunk, they become arseholes sometimes. No, it's girls are much worse. Really? Yeah, much worse. Why? Are they groping you? Yeah, they're groping. Knew and, it. And they're like, fancy shag Wayne and all that. No way. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, well, that's the thing. It must be hard to be in a relationship if everyone's offering you a shag Wayne. Yeah. But they're not the most attractive when they come out of that. <laughs> <laughs> They've just but, come out of the yeah. pool being kicked out by mm. security. So, yeah, I mean, it's always a no from me. But, um, yeah, I mean, it is good fun. I mean, they're only having a laugh. Do you know what I mean? It's true. Unless you said yeah, then they would be <laughs> absolutely down for that. Yeah, I guess so. And you were on Celebs Go Dating, but you were on, mm. was it the one in the house? In the mansion, yeah. In the mansion. That was the first Fantastic. time they'd ever done that. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, they've not done it again either. I don't think they will. I think financially it was very draining for for the production. I can um, imagine. And keeping you all in one Yeah, must have been stressful. And all with the COVID regulation, because it's right in the middle of lockdown. Yeah, I'm surprised they did it. Mm. Yeah, we. I just thought this is never going to happen. <laughs> That's why you said yeah. Just shortly before the program, they um, they started release um, releasing um, pr- production passes and stuff like that for mm-hmm. people filming programs and right. <coughs> and unfortunately, um, celebs go down. As long as we they abide by the laws and everyone had tests and tests and tests every mm-hmm. day, we had a test. It was a nightmare. Um, but yeah, I had a great time and it was right in the middle of lockdown. Everyone was locked away. Did you away find it was... awkward doing the, the dates though? Because to me, that's my worst nightmare, getting filmed on a date. Because yeah. I just can't do that. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously always in the back of your mind. But you tend, once you're in, in a situation like that and you've been in it for a week or two weeks or three weeks, mm-hmm. however long it was, you tend to forget the cameras on you and you just be yourself and... Was the first few days you're like, oh my god, oh god, god. I don't know so, if I can do this. Then, yeah. then you get to the stage where you think, fuck it, you know, just uh, just have a good time. What was your they, favorite? People just want to see you as you are anyway. You don't don't want to see. You well, being... but no one had really seen you like that before. Mm. That I don't think really in that sort of environment as well. Yeah, I mean that's that's the main reason I went on it. Yeah. At, at that time, um, people had different perceptions of me, mm-hmm. and and so it, it got it, it got a little bit much, you know, and. More to protect my family than anything, you know, when people are calling you these disgusting words mm. and names and you're thinking, I don't, I don't deserve this, you know. You've got a clear name. So, and nor does my family, you know, to have to see my daughter, see her see mm-hmm. things that are written about me that obviously weren't true. But it got a bit much and, and then, you know, the trolls are like, they join on the bandwagon and... Yeah, they and love then, it. So I thought... I'll, I'll go on and, and show people what my, the real me. If they like me or they, they don't, then... At least you've shown at it. At least I've shown it. Yeah. What was your favourite moment from the show? <laughs> my real one, I can't tell you. <laughs> but, um, what's that um, uh, We did, um, I think, when Chloe Ferry sprayed my hair black. I can imagine. That was hilarious. You and, were you and Chloe dating or not? Yeah. You not were? like... We just like we're having a little vibe together, you know. Love that. It's me and Chloe in it. But she she got this idea of, of, of she got a ring because she got a wedding ring. Yeah. She went, Wayne, come on, let's wind everyone up and, <laughs> and get, pretend we're getting married. So we're in, the, we're in the mansion and we're like, I'm like, okay, sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah. So so we've took all the pictures of the mansion and put it on my With finger. With the ring, yeah. Yeah, and then, and then we were going to post it and we just didn't end up doing it. And a couple of weeks after, she's messaged me. She's gone, Wayne. No, she called me, actually. She went, Wayne, come on. I've still got these <laughs> pictures. Let's do it. I went, what? She went, let's do it. Let's pretend we've got engaged. I went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. It, it went absolutely No, people nuts. went nuts. Because I remember all of my friendship group, we were mm. like, are they engaged or are they not engaged? Yeah, that was the thing, you see. People knew it was so bizarre that it can't be true. But, it, but then we it was also, also like, made but it look could like it be it was true? true yeah. yeah. So we left it in the balance a little bit. I loved it. I wouldn't mind mm. if you both got married. Yeah, I think it'd be great. <laughs> I bet you do. No, nah, me and Chloe are best friends. We, we love each other and uh, we speak nearly every day. Do you? Every day, face to FaceTime yesterday. That's so cute. 
Yeah, we speak all the time. She's coming over to Ibiza. I think she's going to do a whole month this year in June. Well, that's the thing. If you've got friends, you have the perfect place to just take them yeah. to. Yeah, it's nice. It's not like your average pub down the road. Not quite. Would you open a pub? I feel like you could do a pub, you know, in England. Yeah, I'd like to open a big one, though. Like a fun one, like with live singers and... Maybe like you know, a jazz like... person, a saxophone. Mm. That's my yes. favourite part. You can have the saxophone. But at the moment... I'm sticking to a beat. We've got some new projects coming up, and yeah, we're very busy at the moment. So Are you going that's... hard this summer? Is that the plan? Yes, I'm here for it. No, we, we're just we're just um, you know it took a long time to recover from COVID, mm-hmm. and now we're back in the game. When we're you know we're looking at different businesses and you know some hotels and Ooh. we're having a hotel built. Love that. Is it connected to Ocean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, I can't tell too much at the minute, but yeah, that's going to be amazing. It's going to be the, the biggest party hotel in Ibiza. I can only imagine the hangovers mm. that are going to happen in that hotel. Yes, line. all sorts. Can I can happen, really yeah. imagine. So this isn't the year for you to settle down? No, I don't really think so. <laughs> yeah, maybe so, next year. Especially not in March, uh, February, March, you know? Yeah, yeah, before maybe the summer. In, maybe in October. No, you can know. have like a winter babe, yeah, maybe. Winter babe. When do you see yourself, like when you settle down, do you sit what, like 70? Yeah, when I reach my prime. Your prime. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Yeah. I see it, to be fair. Yeah, I'm still young, and not. You are still. I'm you're like a spring a baby, chicken, Wayne. You know. I hear you. We've got questions that people want to know the answer to. Okay. okay. What's your dream threesome? Ooh. That is the most difficult question I have so asked today, I will be honest. So difficult on the spot. Would you do it with another guy or would it have to be Absolutely your girls? Not. Yeah, no fair chance. play. Fair play. Take the lead. Especially if it's Tony Truman, no way in the no. <laughs> I agree. Um, I don't know, you know. Um, Maybe out of people you've had at Ocean Beach, feel like you've mm. had celebs. You can include Chloe. I mean, Maya Jama, Maya. Yeah, yep. yeah. Has she ever been Ocean? Yeah, she was there, actually. Fucking love that for her. Right, um, Maya Jama, that's a solid one. I think that's in everyone's yeah. dream threesome. Is a threesome one more or two more? One, one more. more. You've got, sorry, I just, I've never, <laughs> I've never dabbled in a threesome. Um, uh, just probably Chloe Ferry, just for the banter. I agree, and she's got the. Do you know what? I could never have a threesome with Chloe Ferry because her ass would completely outdo mine. I'd be like, "There's no point me even being here right mm. now." Yeah, I think yeah, <laughs> we'd just laugh, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd just be talking the whole time. But yeah, we would. Yeah. What are you? Would you ever invite Andrew Tate to Ocean Beach? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, he's a very, very odd, odd character, you know. He uh, he is. Yeah. I can imagine him maybe on a float. On a what? On a float. Like, yeah, great. Girls next to him. A little cocktail in his hand. I could see it.